So y'all don't even want to know my initial reaction when I first seen this. Um, because imagine doing like a walk around on your truck and then you notice your whole grill is gone. And you know it's been there the entire day that you've been working. Crazy thing about the whole situation is I don't know when it fell off at what point when I first seen it. I didn't because I know I didn't run over it. You know, when a grill fall, you know that you're going to feel it once you run over it. You're going to hear it. Something you're going to know that you're going over something. Um, so when I got back in my car, I went back to go look for the thing. I didn't see it nowhere, uh, you know, but I sit low in the car. So I had to go. Uh, so I said, forget it. I just go to uh, Freightliner, get me a new one. So as I'm going back to the store, I look down to the right over there near the railroad tracks. And there it was right there. Somebody, I think somebody put it to the side. Maybe thinking somebody will come back for it because, I mean, it don't fall and then automatically appear to the side of the road. But anyway, it's busted up right here. It's busted up on the side. The three, um, the three clamps is on my truck. Like, they're no longer attached. This right here is done for. I don't even want to deal with it. y'all so i'm getting ready to attempt to put this on here i don't think i need a mechanic to do this but the problem is uh i only got one screw it's supposed to be one here uh one here one here and then uh, another one right here and i got three missing and i just got this and then it hooks up here of course it hooks here 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 and here um i, don't, I really don't need these hooks i'm gonna keep them because you know you never know may need them or something but um i don't want to hang it up there without these screws because it might fall back off and who got time for that but i got the part back here got the part laid back here on my truck i took it out the box they got it wrapped up real good um i'll tell you how much it cost in a minute but uh if y'all can see right here 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 and here like I said that's where the uh, screws go and I only have one I really need this on here so uh, let me see if I can work some magic and uh, get this part on here tonight before it get too dark it may already be too late I don't know y'all so i'm just gonna sit these uh clamps right here can you see it one right there uh where's the other one here there and then it's one on the end i'm just gonna sit it up here so it'll line up and then i'm gonna snap it in a guy i work with told me um it's um that i needed to hurry up and get it fixed like put it on because um i don't want to damage like uh this part right here but I don't want to damage either one of them of course but uh, he said this part right here cost uh, $1,800 so anyway I don't want to damage nothing so this is the reason why I'm trying to hurry up and put it on here took me long enough but I got it on there because I had a hook right here it didn't want to work with me it was being real stubborn but I don't have the screws to go in here. I have to get that tomorrow. But for tonight, we got to, uh, you know, make it work. We got to rig some things. So I took my uh, zip ties, put them here, put one there, put one there. And then I put one there. If I can find three more, I'm going to put it here. But I honestly don't think I need it. But, you know, because it's not moving at all. But, uh 
Yeah, this is what we looking like. We shining like new money now. This is a good bag to have on hand. I forgot I had it. It just got like some screws in here. Different sizes. Most of them about the same size. Some shorter, some smaller, but yeah. Get you a bag of screws that do come in handy. So y'all, the part for the truck costs $329, 24 cents, right? And I got a 2012 Freightliner Cascadia. The part was easy to put on, so if you ever wanted to uh, try to put a grill on the truck, don't let nobody else do it. You can do it yourself. If I can do it, trust me, you can. It has double tape on there also to like double, like to ensure that it doesn't move, you know. Um, I didn't use the tape. I just used the screws, and I just clipped it in at the top. So that should be good enough. That's an option if you wanted to use that or not. Uh, it was my option anyway. Let me show you what I done did. I done jumped the dog on fifth wheel. Cause the trailer was too high. So, I done put a stick under here. Well, anyway, this is what it is. I laid that across there. Like that. Just to get the fifth wheel up. And now I'm gonna uh, drop the airbag and try to pull off money here and see if that works. I think, I think that uh, wood need to be had this up just a little bit more. But I'm gonna try it. Can't really tell. Okay, it was a no-go the first time. I did something different, let me show you. I put some tape under the wood to level it out a little bit more, to like tilt it a little bit more. Let me, uh, let me drop the airbag. Aside from all that, hello to everyone and to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I will be doing a low board video here, um, maybe the next video or the one after that. So if you got any requests, you can drop them down in the comment section below and I will work on that um, next or very soon here. Um, thank you for making it to this point of the video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.